I thought we'd like to uh, slip a segment in here involving polynomials in several variables. What I've got on the board here is a polynomial that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. And I'd like to describe in those 5 terms the coefficient of the term, the degree of the term, and the degree of the polynomial. The first term is this 4x squared y cubed. The coefficient of that term is a positive 4. When there are several variables in a term, the degree of the term is the sum of the exponents. It doesn't mean that you're allowed to multiply x squared times y to the third. You are not. Their bases are not alike. You're not allowed to multiply those together. But the degree of this term is 2 plus 3, or 5. It's just describing its magnitude, if you will, and the position that you would place it in, in the polynomial. The next term is a positive 7x squared, y to the third, z to the second. And its coefficient is a 7, and the degree of that term is 2 plus 3 plus 2, or a total of 7. The next term is a minus 5x, and its coefficient is a minus 5. The degree of that term is this 1 right here, x to the first power. The next term is a positive 2y, so its coefficient is 2, and its degree is also 1, because y is raised to the first power. And the last term is the 4. Its coefficient is 4, and its degree is 0, because it's thought of as 4 times x to the 0 power. Remember, anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. We say its degree is, is that 0. The degree of the polynomial is the highest of any one of these. So since 7 is the highest, the degree of this overall polynomial is 7. Let's now add and subtract polynomials um, that have several variables. A little bit hard to get them written up here quickly because there's so many letters. Um, let's take 13x cubed y plus 3x squared y minus 5y. And let's add to that x cubed y plus 4x squared y minus 3xy plus 3y. And so let's look for our like terms. Our like terms are those terms that have the same variable raised to the same power throughout the term. So this 13x cubed y and this 1x cubed y, the variables are the same raised to the same power. Both of the x's are cubed and the y is to the first power. This one has a coefficient of 1. So the 13 plus the 1 is a total of 14x cubed y. Um, the next term, there is an x squared y, and there's x squared y also. Those are like terms as well. This has a coefficient of 3, a coefficient of 4, for a total of 7 of those x squared y's. Um, I'm going to bring this minus 3xy down next, because the degree of that term is 2. We tend to put that next before we would put this minus 5y and plus 3y, which are like terms, a negative 5 plus 3 is a minus 2, and I'm all done. There's various ways to write this in terms of descending order. I'm not going to go into much detail there. You will not be wronged in terms of computer applications and when you put your answers in. Um, sometimes we write it in descending order of the variable x, so x cubed, x to the second, x to the first, x to the zero. And also because x is the first letter in the alphabet. That's probably the best way to write this problem. I don't want to write a whole other problem up here. I just want to say to you that if this was a subtraction problem, so if this was to hit a minus sign here, you would be adding the opposite of all these. So a negative x cubed y and a minus 4x squared y and then a plus 3xy and then here a minus 3y. So the second polynomial would have its signs changed and the like terms would be added together. I think I'm not going to take the time to finish this because I'd like to get some multiplication done in this problem. But again, here's your like terms, here's your like terms, those two are your like terms. Combine their coefficients. I'd like to multiply in several variables. And so here's an example 
of one that you might see. So if I asked you to take 4x plus 5y and square it, I need you to be just so very careful to write the binomial down twice. Because that's what we mean when we say square it. So 4x plus 5y times 4x plus 5y. And because they're two binomials, I'm going to FOIL them. So 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 5y is 20xy. I have to put the xy side by side. I can't add their exponents. The bases are not alike. 5y times 4x is another 20xy. We tend to put that in alphabetical order. And then positive 5y times positive 5y is a positive 25y squared. And just watch for the opportunity to collect like terms because their variables are alike. They're raised to the same power. They're both 1. Then I can add their coefficients. 20 plus 20 is a total of 40 of those xy's. And I'll bring down my 25y squared and bring down my 16x squared. So if there's several variables in the polynomial, it's not too big of a deal. I have time to do one more. Um, so let's take a look at multiplication of this binomial. times this binomial. So we're going to FOIL. So I'm going to take, first of all, the, this times this, the x squared y times xy squared. x squared times x to the first is x to the third, because I'm adding their exponents. y to the first times y to the second is y to the third. I'm done with that first um, two products. The outside in the FOILing process, I have x squared times x squared y times y squared. x squared stays as is. y to the first times y to the second is y to the third. Next, I'll take 2x times xy squared. That'll give me a 2x squared here, because this x to the first times x to the first is x to the second. y to the second, right there, brought along. 2x times y squared is the last term. And I'm just stepping back a minute to see if there's any like terms. There are no xy's both raised to the third power down here. Here x is squared, y is cubed. Here x is squared, y is squared. Those are not like terms because of the different exponent on the y's. And none of these terms has just an x to the y to the second. I'm done. That's the end of multiplication of polynomials. Truly, now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a few division problems in our next segment.